Hello there, so in this pumps and pumping station part, we will study about the pump characteristics. So before that, let me tell you something. So when you take your water, or I mean we transfer the water from the pipe, obviously that required energy. Understand until you can't take water from ground level to the no up to the next floor. So for that energy is required. So how will how will you give the energy to the no so that water should flow through the pipe? So basically, pump is the most important equipment to feed energy so that water can flow through pipe to a different level. For example, transport drinking, civic water, you no, know, those are travel from large distance from one reservoir to another reservoir with the help of pump energy. So when we talk about the pump, there are you know major types. That is one displacement pumps and another is impeller pumps. That impeller pump and again categories into radial flow pump, mixed flow pump and axial flow pump. So let's we come talk about the pump characteristics. You know what pump characteristics gives the all details about that particular pump. And if you go to any manufacturer, he will give you the details about the these characteristics and mostly these palm curves so let's be understand one by one uh, QH curve, efficiency curve, power curve and net positive suction head curve so this is QH curve so it is a you can see this is a pump curve so it tells about the relation between the volume flow rate and this pressure head so this H this pressure head is a difference in energy level between the suction and the pressure side of the pump and this QH curve that is that pump curve will be given by the manufacturer of the pump next is this efficiency curve so you can see this is pump curve and this is efficiency curve so again this is the relation between the performance and the volume flow rate so it will tell about the means absorb hyperbolic hydraulic energy in terms of pressure and velocity in the provided mechanical energy in the pump work and the third one is NPSH curve NPSH means net positive suction head you know what when you when the pump sucks the water so inside the pump there is a less pressure than the atmospheric pressure outside that is mostly negative pressure but we should have to take care of that that negative pressure should not should not be less than the water vapor pressure so that there should not create any cavitation if cavitation occurs so small small bubbles will occur and that act as a grains and that will hammer the whole system and obviously there is a wear and tear occurs so with the help of NPSH means negative Net positive suction head, we can decide means that NPC should be either larger or equal to the needed NPC so that you know cavitation should not occur. So, this is the curve about NPC versus volume flow rate where we can see the pump curve, efficiency curve, and NPC curve. And how will you calculate this NPC curve? Means it is addition of suction head at the impeller plus atmospheric pressure minus vapor pressure and suction head can calculate with the help of h that is the pressure at the impeller entrance plus p square by 2g that is the velocity of the water at the impeller entrance so this is about all the NPC curve and various pump curves are brought by the pump manufacturer so in this pump and pumping station but we see all about you know different pump characteristics thank you